the cost of child care soared during the pandemic, and now parents are having a harder time finding those coveted slots. New York's Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul says we're in a child care crisis, and she's crisscrossing the state sounding the alarm. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff has the story. Shuttered for months, then reopened at only half capacity. The wooden shoe in Valley Stream is among the child care centers soon forced to hike pricing. I have had many colleagues close their programs, close their doors because they could not have their staff members come back. They didn't have the children come back. Parents were frightened to send their children. The pandemic tightening the crunch. Two thirds of New Yorkers live in a so called child care desert with no nearby options. This New York State Task Force report finds the cost is often out of reach. In New York State, it's more expensive than public college. Infant care, more than average rent. This mother of three is a New York State Assemblywoman. It's expensive. Uh, it's, uh, you know, hard to find a slot at many, at many times. And, um, you know, we're worried that, you know, our child uh, or, you know, not, not only will get infected, but bring that infection home. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul says child care is essential to the economic comeback. We still have a crisis that existed pre-pandemic, and now it is a crisis on steroids. It is scary to see that there are so many families, women who want to get back to work, who need to get back to work to support their families, who don't have child care options. Hochul says it's personal to her. Years ago, she left her job working for Senator Moynihan because she had no one to watch her kids. The task force she co-chaired recommends higher wages. Child care workers average only $27,000 a year. Incentives for 24-hour child care and businesses to innovate. Do you have an incentive for uh, an extra bonus in the pack in your pay package? Are you putting a child care on site? And stop treating child care as a woman's problem, but an urgent to economic one. The report concludes that now is the time to build back New York's child care system better than decades of treating it as a private service rather than a public good has left the system teetering on collapse. In Mineola, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Now, New York State recently allocated an additional $35 million to assist daycare centers in underserved communities. 